What's up guys, this is Disc Alchemist bringing you another video. Better to have a short life that is full of what you like doing than a long life spent in a miserable way. Today, we have this box from what I would consider now a friend in Michael Kirchner. Sorry if I butchered that, Michael. But he's an awesome dude. He's on, I believe, the battalion team of Prodigy, if not the team captain of the battalion team. And his main goal is helping people make the switch to Prodigy. As a lot of you that follow Foundation, that if you're watching me, you're probably watching Foundation Disc Golf, you saw that Hunter now did his um, gyro challenge he switched to an all mvp axiom bag and as something that i've like wanted to do forever and just never committed to because it was very costly that's where michael came in i reached out to the prodigy team people and the prodigy page on facebook asking for recommendations just thinking i could slowly build a bag and maybe slowly get ideas and kind of slowly do that challenge where i play with a single brand that i haven't thrown ever and see if i can build a good bag and see if i can compete well with it michael he messaged me he had super affordable options, probably the coolest dude to work with and just like the best experience you could ever have trying to switch to a new bag because I saved a bunch of money, got great plastic, and I'm jump starting my bag so much further than I'd ever be able to without him. So I wanna give a huge shout out to him. This is the first box I ever did. I think there'll be 13 discs in here, hopefully. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to bring you guys along and see my first reaction. I've had one Prodigy disc before and that was a D3 Max, I believe. Maybe it was a D2 Max something like that, no longer have it, but I really like that how that flew and felt. So we're gonna slowly go through one by one and see what these, uh, see what these guys are. First off, D1. This thing feels freaking amazing, 500 plastic. I left some of the plastics up to Michael just to see what he uh, would do. And um, just cause I don't know, I got a lot of 400s cause that's kind of the middle ground that seemed good but I wanted to leave my distance drivers up to him. And this freaking four, five, sorry, 500, nice lavender D1, feels absolute freaking butter in the hand. Don't know how well you can see the dome. I don't know how well my camera will be working here. I haven't really ever done this kind of style, but it's like gummy, but not too gummy. 500 feels freaking nice, geez. Not too sharp, which I know is something that I, on my other Prodigy, it was really sharp on the bottom. And it really doesn't feel, like, it doesn't feel massive. I think the other, my other driver I had felt huge in the hand. This one feels quite nice. But yeah, first disc, 500D1. Here we go. D2. Is this a, what, what plastic? 400 plastic? Okay, it's the 400. Definitely a lot more gummy, translucent, decent dome. But yeah, it feels great. These guys will both be bombers. How does the profile compare on the two? Pretty sick. I think this D2 will be flying quite nice for me. Um, feels great in the hand. Not too bad of a color, you know. Out of here at the Pacific Northwest, you don't want awful colors, and so far, Michael's got me two for two. Ooh, this is sick. What is this guy? Ooh, what do we got? Oh, does it say? Oh, this is the FX3 400 plastic with the Huck Lab stamp? Are you kidding me? It may be green, but still. Nice, this FX3 feels really nice in the hand. Jeez. 400 plastic again, which I think most of my stuff's in. I like it because it's pretty gummy. Um, it'll hit some compact, but I you know, might have to look into that 500 now that I am uh, had some. But yeah, FX3. Next disc. It's an X out. Yellow D4. Okay, okay. Yeah, see, the D, I feel like this feels so much more, I feel like this feels a lot like my other one, almost like wider rim, like thicker kind of rim. This feels a lot like the other one I had, but 
nice yellow D4. Um, we'll see how flippy these are. I believe it's 400 plastic, uh, just based off feel. Obviously, I'm not very good, but feels very, very gummy, very similar to all these guys down here. Okay, what do we, what do we got here? I believe this is an F5. F5-7, I believe this is an F5. Definitely feels kind of that like slower, that uh, seven speed rim. Nice little like red magenta color. It's like a decent dome, but like, I don't know if this is 400 plastic. I'm wondering if this is a different plastic because it kind of feels a little stiffer, but it feels great in the hand. I won't complain about that. Here we go. Nice little lime F2. Yeah, I think it's F, so I, that might be 700. So it might be a 700 plastic because any of you Prodigy guys that are following, you can let me know, but it's an F5-7, which I believe means it's the 700 or 750, whatever it is. I think it's 700. And then this one has, obviously it's stock stamp, so it tells me, but on the back it's F2-4 and it says so 400. So I believe that one is that uh, F5, maybe 500 or 700 plastic, we'll see. But these both feel great. I'm a really big fan of that seven speed, so I'm really hoping these uh, the F series will kind of give me that the flights I've been looking for. Just feels this 400 plastic is great. Here we go. This is the fun stuff. PA three, ooh, it's definitely funky, but like that 300 plastic. Oh boy, this is a really nice disc. Wow, but this 300 plastic feels great. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see if this this might become my uh, putting putter. I know it was something in the PA3 and the P Model S. But that's sweet. What do we got next? What do we got next? Blank stamp. P or uh, wiped stamp. Duraflex Glow or the base glow. P Model S. I don't know. We'll see. I was. This is what I was recommended for. Um, my uh to replace my putting was that base plastic this is a glow but that base um p model s and you'll see it's a little i almost feel like the pa3 is like pa3 seems a little shallower i don't know i may be wrong but this thing just seems a little deeper but the base grip glow feels is a good plastic feels nice but yeah p model s what do we got so what do we got, we got two two, four, six, eight. So we should have one, two, three, four, five more. Five more, let's go. Okay, so we got an infinite stamped P model US, okay. Yeah, I don't know if this would be my, definitely don't think this would be a putting putter, but I think this is the, is this Duraflex? Yeah, this is the Duraflex plastic. Ooh. Just look at the swirls on that. I don't know if it'll focus, hopefully it will, but this thing has got swirls for days. A little deeper. I'm gonna have to definitely get used to a little bit deeper than the throwing putters I've been throwing, but this feels really nice. Probably just have the fan grip, but P Model US. What are we looking here? It's X out, A2 400. So I got a nice little A2 here. Ooh, that thing's got some freaking flashing on it. That's gonna have to get a little worn down because that thing is like, I don't even know if you can hear that. You might be able to hear that. That's pretty sharp. It feels good other than that. Like, I don't know if that's a common thing with A2 is a lot of flashing on the bottom and maybe you just have to kind of deal with it, but like, it feels really good for forehand. It feels great for backhand. I hear these things are uber stable. Yeah, A2. Here we go. This is the one I've been really looking forward to though, the distortion. The thing feels absolutely great. Oh jeez. I'm thinking I'll fall in love with this thing. I don't even know who does this, but this is some sick artwork. Be sweet flyer distortion though. I think this might be my go-to. We'll see how the A2 kind of battles for that slot. Now I think I know what these last two guys are. This is an M2. Same thing, a lot of flashing, which I know I think is pretty synonymous with 
Prodigy, what plastic is this? It says 400, but this thing feels like, it feels a lot gummier than 400. At least I think, you guys, please let me know if you know what the M2-4, I believe that saying it's a 400, but this freaking M2 is like gummy, but a lot tackier than the other ones. The other ones were a lot more like champion. This is kind of more like a, I don't even know, ESB type, but interesting. I'll have to really, I'll have to give it some rips to see. And our last one. Maybe it's just that run, because this kind of is, this is 400 and kind of has that similar. So maybe it's a mid-range thing, I don't know. Team stamped 400 M4. Ooh, just look at, like, just, just the, like, profile. This guy seems like it's going to be a, just a sick flyer. And the plastic is very interesting. It's a lot chalkier, so I don't know if that's just maybe, that was maybe a, a storage thing that just got kind of got some... But I don't have, so I don't know if it just kind of got some chalk from being stored, but, but yeah, this thing is feeling great in the hand. The mids, a little weak on the mids, but yeah. So let's go through. We got mid ranges, M4, M2, both in 400. Both feel pretty dang great. Approaches, we got an A2 distortion. I feel like that's a good start. Um, have to see how they fly, have to see how they compare. This distortion in the hand though feels just crazy good. Uh, and we go to our putters, we got the coveted PA3. Um, honestly, didn't know how I'd feel about it, but right now this is kind of taking the, it's taking the top spot for what I'm thinking it might be my putter. Might be a little more too, might be a little too stable. We gotta see. We got P-Model US, feels great in the hand. This uh, base grip um, glow plastic feels great. Maybe this will be the putter, you never know. And I believe this is going as a thrower, the P-Model US um, in the Duraflex plastic, so it'll hold up a little better. We'll see how stable it is as the putters. We'll kind of go to our more fairways and we have the F5, I believe in 700 plastic. Guys, tell me if I'm completely wrong, but definitely doesn't feel like 400, so we'll see. Stock ship F2, 400 plastic, both gonna be some workhorses. And then, honestly, probably my favorite of the three is this Huck Lab Stamped FX3. Feels absolutely great. It might be a little faster, so that'll be sick. And to finish it off, got a nice understable D4, hopefully understable, we'll see. Clean this off a little bit. Got a sick D2, 400 plastic. And honestly, probably the favorite of the whole thing is this 500 D1. Um, I believe these guys fly sick, so I'm really excited to go out and test them. And yeah, there they all are. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please uh, hit that subscribe, hit that like button if you enjoyed. Give me a, a sub or hit, I guess it's not a follow on here, but follow my Instagram. It'll be a link down below. I'm gonna start posting more on that, hopefully as I kinda continue to build my Prodigy bag and see. If you guys are any Prodigy fans, please drop a comment down below of what you think is the coolest disc here, what discs I need to try, what ones I don't have, um, any tips and tricks, and yeah, I hope to see you guys next time. Peace.